Focus. Focus. You're on the vlog. What's happening, Eric, <laughs> Chester, subscribers? Guys, welcome back to a new video. We're chilling in a truck trying to stay cool. Um, because we're at Wild Arrow, this is where we do all our bow builds. The team here has basically taken care of my bows and everyone at Hush's bows for years. And lucky for me, today we're shooting a video for the Hush channel of uh, building my new bow. It's the Hoyt Ventum 30. A black gold sight for me, a custom four pin black gold sight, a new rest. I'm changing rest and I'm changing arrows. So this year there's gonna be a lot of changes to my setup, which uh, I'm looking forward to. I've used the same rest, same arrows for quite a while, which the only good thing is on the arrows is I have a whole bunch of them from shooting them for many moons. We're just going to bounce around with the daily stuff. Matt's here to film. If you guys are interested in the bow build stuff, you know, hop over to the, the Hushing YouTube channel. Did you bring your bow? Mm-mm. What the heck? I thought you were going to bring your bow for some stuff. I was, but I didn't want to intrude. Uh, you don't got to worry about it. We have all day. Check out the new Jeremiah, dude. Where did your hair come from? <laughs> dude, what on earth? It's been a minute. Yeah. I started growing it, and then my brother started growing his, and now it's a competition I can't lose, so. With beard and all? Everything. Well, he doesn't have the beard, but. Because uh, he's weak. Yeah. He got a beat <laughs> on that, at least. So. That's crazy, dude. I wouldn't have recognized you. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is, the new Venom 30. We're going to go inside the shop and put it all together. Dude, I love the arrow counters. This is this was such a good addition. Yeah. So we got the Skittle arrows. Yeah. Dude, adding black this year, I love it. Yeah, some of your colors are sweet, dude. I love that new red. That thing, it's been awesome. Dang, so. I really do have like the mixed bag. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah, we tried to use one of everything, so. I figured we'd buy and do a patriotic, you know, some red, white, and blue action. Oh, I love here, it. So. Dude, I'm super down. Yeah. That'll be number one. Yeah. I always have like a number one arrow, you yep. know, like in first in the quiver. I'll make the American one the number one. Man, I haven't been to the shop for a minute. What do these guys got in here? You're looking like uh, pretty sold out here, dude. It has been hard to keep stuff in. Really? This year, yeah. The man's way high. And manufacturers have a hard time keeping up with the man. By the way, for all you locals, Hush Veins and Wraps, they've got pretty good inventory. This is, a, if I was going to do a colorway, I'd do black and gray. I can't show you all the good stuff, but we're starting the bow build. The bow's in the vise. Uh, we pulled all the different parts that we're going to put on. We've got the Hoyt Rest. This is the Ultra Rest. I've been using that for years. I've got a black gold Pro Sight. That uh, Jeremiah is fine tuning, leveling. Got myself a really short stabilizer that we're going to add onto the bow, which it comes with this little two inch guy here down low. I think I'm going to throw that here, try that out, and then I've got a tight spot quiver and like a gunmetal gray. I think we'll look great with first light camo. These bow build videos are fun because it's just cool to see Jeremiah do what he's best at, like all this type of stuff. But you guys can learn a lot. If you guys are home, if you guys are living in a rural area where you don't have a bow technician anywhere close and you're forced to do this stuff at your house, Jeremiah is full of knowledge and tips. If you watch the bow build video on the Get Hushin channel, you guys could probably learn a thing or two. And uh, if you don't, and you wanna just come fly to Utah and do what they call a wild arrow experience, you can actually book the, these guys for like a hands-on, one-on-one experience where they either fine tune the bow you got or you buy one from them, which I recommend, and uh, they'll set you up start to finish just like this, so. Well, we're leaving with the bow. Let me show you guys the setup here. So we got the Ventum 30, we got this tight spot quiver, we got the black gold Pro Sight, got a stabilizer from Hoyt, got the Hush veins and wraps, and the Hoyt rest. Looking pretty sweet, excited. Thanks again to the guys at Wild Arrow if you're in Utah. This is a bow shop you guys want to go to. So nice having these guys to help help with the bow and all the archery stuff. Yeah, it seemed to be a little bit of a struggle tuning it and uh, picking out the right arrow. Normally, I guess I've just been lucky in the past that the stuff we've picked out and set up has tuned and worked out really well. But that bow just did not like the arrows we started with, so he had me shoot a bunch of different ones. 
and we finally finally got it tuned he's just wanting me to shoot it and he wants feedback on how good the groups are so that's the next step it's like Christmas over here <laughs> Matt and I just went to uh, Eagle Eye and got some new swag so you guys have probably noticed I've been wearing bent brim hats the last few weeks got a pretty good streak going strong looks like I got a new book I'm reading I'm gonna read from Amazon but we're at the house and Brady and John came over earlier my buddies that brought me that big old target and the problem was the target would not stand because the backyard here is not level so they wanted to kind of dig it out and level it up so they got some guys here helping out and they dug out the bottom they're gonna cement those posts which looks like they're doing that right now and then yeah that thing is gonna sit level and have some support on each side which is cool how's it look pretty nice huh you already got the concrete in yeah that's what we're gonna be putting right there these posts if you watch the last video you might remember I mentioned uh, the rise and shed like shed and tell event well it's going on today and we just pulled up so we're gonna go check it out there should be a bunch of cool antlers and cool people here to hang out with and we'll drag the camera over there to see if we can get some pictures and video stuff but uh yeah all the canopies are just kind of right around the corner right there so we're gonna go check it out you're on the vlog dude on the hush vlog just the eric vlog sorry it's not that cool no no it's still cool still we got the hush vlog going get get some video of that too no i picked this side by side setup when i was 15. dude i love that extra Oh yeah, the crotch point. The there's something brown. there's something about the triple brown. I know. Oh, yeah. So sick. So cool. But um I actually after I picked it up, uh, I was telling a friend of mine about it and I came to find out that his brother had a video of the bowl. Oh no way, so, that same year? That too. Oh yeah. That's cool. cool. We'll walk you through what we can. These guys just showed me this bomber set. This is a sweet set they picked up this year, Brown. That was last year. Oh, it was last year, yeah, they matched it up like Two miles away, he said. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, here's that's that crazy. That you see, you got that crotch point oh, right yeah, there, dude. Heck yeah, that's And then so just cool. the six on the other side. How and far then, away did he shed from right there? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea where that video was taken. So, but and then I heard rumors that that bull got killed the next year. But yeah, he's I, a stud. I tried to get in contact with the guy that they said might have killed it, and he never replied back. So that's a cool set, dude. He's found him when you're 15, huh? Yeah. So four years ago now. All right, what else, dude? Uh, that's cool. This set up this year. Thing's heavy. I saw that from back there. I was like, that thing's got some mass. This is a heavier bull. Not not very far from where I found that one. Dude, that's a cool so, bull. That was this year. This one was this that's year. That's this year's Browns, and, huh? Uh, Braden actually got trail cam pictures of this bull. Oh yeah. That bull could blow up. You know, he'll never be long in the in the main beam, and they're never usually that good on the back end. But these heavy, heavy bulls will get the most, the coolest fronts. You know, it's almost like he's got a devil tine. Let's see the bird. Like... Yeah, dude, this is a baby. Like he's uh -huh. just gonna be one of those like Titus bulls. You know, uh -huh. those elephant Titus bull. Oh, yeah. Dude, we'll never draw the tag in our lifetime to get him. That's why we get to shed hunt him. Everyone yeah. asks me, why do you like shed hunting? I'm like, cause you can't hunt these elk yeah. that often where I live. Well, then this is, the one this is one of the coolest sheds I've ever seen. That thing is way rad. Oh yeah. Heartbreaker because you don't have the other side or what? Yeah. I looked for so long for the Holy other side. Holy crap. Multiple different trips. It's so heavy. So many miles. Look at that. Dude, that's a cool bull. And like, it always makes you wonder, like what is the other side? Mm -hmm. Was the other side identical or? Let's see the burr. It's huge. So it's got a normal burr. Like it's not a weird pedicle. Uh -huh. So the other side could be normal or it could be a freak kind of like that too. Mm -hmm. Like that you'd think would be damaged in the velvet. Yeah, had to have been something like that. That's he's cool, even, dude. He's even got velvet kind of in between. In there a little bit. Yeah, that's a sweet one. All right, we're going to walk down and run through this stuff. This is Wes's collection. I haven't seen a lot of this stuff in person because typically it's piled up in his uh, side bedroom. <laughs> but he's found some cool stuff over the years. There's two years of that. 
Ooh, that's a sweet set right there. Sheesh. So yeah, guys, Shed and Tell. Wes puts these on every year. Obviously, he didn't do it last year. Well, that's cool. Didn't do it last year because of COVID and whatnot. But he does this every year, and if you guys can make it, you should. I'm going to have to put together a better booth and bring some of my sheds next year. I didn't bring anything. I just kind of came down here to look at eye candy myself, but I didn't pull the camera out and this whole thing was like filled with sheds and most people have packed up and left. So next time I'll do a better job of that. We're moving on to a big old deadhead. Dude, that thing is so, so sweet. Look at all this extra stuff it's got here, here, this knob, two here. And then this one. Cheater on that side. How about, I love just, oh, yeah. that's all beaded out. Yeah, that's super cool. Found it dead, huh? Sweet, yeah. Sweet dead head. Fresh, my biggest. Yeah. fresh too, huh? Yeah, not a single point broke on it. Yeah, they don't, uh, you don't find them like that very often, man. That's a sweet find. You're turkey hunting? Yep. Turkey hunting. Let me step back a little bit to get you. Chasing gobbles. <laughs> Screw the gobbles, dude. I would much rather find that. Oh, yeah. Looking sweet. Have you put a tape on him? 192. I was going to say, I'm thinking 195. Let's check him out. Brown? That looks pretty sweet. Dude. Dang, dude. Up. Yeah, but he's way cool. Big old cheater on the three point side. Golly, he's nice and brown. This one's pretty cool, too. Elk shed. Holy smokes. You gotta love the freaks. Sweet devil tying on. Oh yeah. Dude, that's cool. Pretty frame too. You gotta love the chocolate browns right there. Oh yeah, dude, hold that up. Is that this year's? Yep. Yeah, those are in the keeper stack. Close to each other? Yeah, like 30 yards apart. Yeah, I can see them. Like from where they shed. Yeah, that's cool. Like glassed them up or stumbled on them? Um, stumbled on them. Walked up on them. Go. Oh, sheds are the best, dude. Oh, yeah. And a moose set. Go, oh, you got the trifecta over here. Dang, dude. He's got some big fronts. Oh, yeah. I put in quite Look a bit. Look how bladed those are. Yeah. Man, I haven't found a moose set forever. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Moose. They're my favorite. Moose are? Yeah. Damn. It's a stud Wyoming buck. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Huh, hold that up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the bases. Look at that thing. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would have not had guessed that was colored. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you did good with the highlights. Yeah. You kind of see some white highlights in there. Thanks, yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, Shed and Tell's about wrapped up. This is all that's left of it. It's getting late. Probably gonna wrap up and head out of here, but that was fun. Well, I was up super late last night editing this vlog, but I figured it cannot end without the conclusion of the big old target. So again, thanks to Brady and John and their crew that came over and installed this thing let me give you guys a closer look because they came over and brainstormed and honestly i think they crushed it they dug a hole and cemented two posts and then they had to heat weld this material on the outside so there's a post on each side and then two sleeves that the target slides down so there is zero chance that thing's tipping over leveled out the bottom and then had to build a stand as you can see it's taller over here and it tapers down at the other side so that's sturdy and then they decorated that so the targets up it looks amazing i can almost get 30 yards at the back but for now i want to shoot my new bow at probably like 25 yards and uh just see how good it does but we got matt here back on the vlog he's gonna help me take some video so i spent some time um after wild arrow at the easton archery center we're so lucky because place is only like 10 15 minutes from my house and I went there and sighted in 30 40 and 50 and didn't have to do much tweaking from just the uh, the gaps of Jeremiah kind of set I'm just gonna shoot for the big circle on the bottom right 
and again I'm shooting like 20 something yards with a 30 pin so I would think it's going to shoot a little high. Pretty centered, just high. Switched up arrows too. When we were doing the tuning process, the uh, what did I have, Matt? You you know more about this stuff than I do. So Eric had a 340 spine, which is pretty common for his draw length and weight. But uh, his bow didn't like that weak of a spine, so they moved it to 300. Still was tearing a little bit right, so. They moved it to a 250 spine. You know what's funny? When I got home, someone DM'd me about that. Really? Yeah, they're like, dude, I'm struggling. Which spine did you end up with? And I was like, whoa, someone else probably needs to have the same 250. Same arrow as me. Yeah, that's wild. Because you have a shorter draw length, which mm -hmm. stiffens the arrow up. Hmm. We're getting that zoom in. All right, now I'm going to try to shoot the smaller circle low and left of that one, but I'm going to actually aim low to try to compensate and hit the dead thing. Ooh, that's a but close, huh? Yep. Dang, dude. Those groups are pretty dang tight. Let's check it out. Another thing I want to mention before we close out the vlog is we did an Instagram takeover on the Can-Am off-road Instagram page. So me, Casey, BMAC, uh, probably Logan and Matt are going to hop on there and kind of introduce Hush to the Can-Am audience. So if you guys want to check that out, I think it's going to live on their highlights tab on their Instagram page. But yeah, check out the groups. This one could have been, could have been tighter. Again, I'm, I was kind of trying to do my best to aim for center. And this one, I was actually hovering my pin right at the bottom of the circle, but the target does great. It did push through just barely. You be the judge. It's kind of hard. This one doesn't count because I can't get a good hold of it. Well, the thing is these outserts, like these outserts are larger than the arrow shaft. Right. And when it comes to pulling out on certain targets, Especially something with a like an outer shell, it does make it a little tricky, like that. It's actually not not terrible, but yeah, it's catching on the collar. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dang. It's easy. not like some of those other ones where you got to freaking stand on the dang things and literally get blisters on your hands. So, yeah, these things hopefully coming soon. The big old targets. Um, but I'm gonna close up the vlog. Just want to say thanks for watching. I've got to do some updates on my parents' house. That place is basically completely done and decorated. So I'll take you guys over there soon. But yeah, trying to do my best on the daily vlog. So I hope you guys are enjoying them. And yeah, until next time, guys.